Good morning, peeps. Actually, it's just barely morning. <laughs> I got up this morning and it was like 39 degrees in Northeast Florida. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready for a yak trip tomorrow and try to pull some sheeps. Uh, I went down and scouted out some spots, talked to some local guys who were uh, killing them today, actually. So, I thought I'd go out and in, uh, it's low tide, go out and catch some mud crabs, get ready for tomorrow, but I wanted to take y'all with me as I go catch mud crabs so you guys can see uh, how I do that. So stick around, let's, uh, let's get some bait, man. Let's get some bait. Alright y'all, so here we go. Let's start getting some mud crabs here. So you gotta be careful when you're looking for mud crabs because stone crabs look very similar and we can't be catching little stone crabs. That is no bueno. There are some little guys. One thing you want to do that is a necessity when doing these things is wear gloves because there's a guy. You will totally cut your hands up. So if you can see how dark this little guy is here, that's going to be a stone crab that the uh, or a mud crab. The stone crabs are a little lighter color. Mud crabs are a deep purplish color. Make sense? Right on. You usually don't have to go very far to get, you know, a couple dozen crabs, but I expected the tide to be a little further out than it is right now, so this might be a bit of a challenge. There's a guy. All right, you can see this guy pretty, pretty well. See how he's a nice, deep purplish color? Yeah, that's going to be a stone, or a mud crab. I keep saying stone. Goodness. see this guy here he is more of a tannish color with a nice light orange I believe that is gonna be a stone crab and we are gonna put him back I ain't got no claws. Perfect size. I don't like them too big and I don't like them too small. Uh, the reason I use mud crabs a lot of times is because you don't get the smaller sheep bites on, on mud crabs. Uh, they, if you're using fiddlers, you get those, you know, nine, 10 inch, Sheep said it'll hit them things, along with, you know, even whiting will hit a, a fiddler. So you get all the smaller species. With mud crabs, I find that you don't catch as many fish, but the bites that you do get 
are a lot uh, bigger fish. baby blues and stuff like that in here. There's a good guy. This is a perfect size right here. These are the ones I like. Perfect. They will literally burrow themselves in the mud, especially on cooler days like today. See that guy, he, he was all the way in the mud, trying to hide. It's a big rock, I'm not trying to blow out a testy here. Some good guy. There's a good guy right there. Oh, that's an unusual looking guy. I don't know what he is. Cool colors. This guy here. Let's put him back. I don't know what he is. All right. You let go of my glove, guy. I'll put you back. Jeez. All right. Chew. All that's a good guy. It's a good guy. Big one. Nobody home. And there's a couple guys home right there. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I'll find a bunch of baits that people have lost on rocks and stuff, which is nice. Bonus! That guy's all the way in the mud, but he's a little too small. He's a good guy. Okay, here's a perfect example. This is a stone. Wash him off so you guys can see him. See how he's nice and uh, brown? That's a stone. We leave those guys alone. Let's put him back.
Uh, I don't want you. You're too little guy. There's a good guy in the mud. He's all the way in the mud. Perfect. So there you go. Quick little uh, bait catching trip. I like using mud crabs, man. And there's a couple reasons. I actually had a really good question from uh, Fishing Girl. She has her. She has a channel. It's a wonderful channel. She puts out a lot of good information on fishing in our area, just to the south of me. If you guys are interested, I'll put that uh, link to her channel in the description below. But she asked me in my last video she saw that I was clipping off or crushing one of the uh, claws on my mud crab and there's two reasons I do that okay I don't typically do it on fiddler crabs but I'll do it on mud crabs and uh, the reasons I do that are one because a lot of times sheep's head will grab if the claws are large and protruding they will grab a claw and they'll take off with it and they'll crush everything up and they'll slowly crush the mud crab up and when you feel that if you try to set the hook you may just rip off a claw and miss that hook set so a lot of times what I'll do is, is crush up those claws or remove them completely if it's a larger mud crab uh, the second reason I do that is because when you crush the claws you get that nice uh, scent in the water for a little added enticement for the sheep's head to pick it up and and know that it's food and go ahead and you go ahead and crush it up and they you can get a good hook set when they pick up the entire crab so i thought that was a great question and i do do that i don't do it with uh, uh fiddler crabs because they're a little smaller and uh yeah i like them to identify fiddler crabs by that 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 big claw but i will do it with the larger mud crab so there you go uh, we are going to get ready for our trip tomorrow and see what we can get along on the line, guys. So check in with me, and uh, I'll probably post that video if I do very well. Probably post a video tomorrow evening. So check me out, and we'll see what we got on the line. Take it easy, guys. Peace.